Hey guys, it's Tim from the Cape Knights Gallery, and today I wanted to take just a few minutes to tell you about this backpack that I just got in, and I'm, I'm really thrilled with being able to show this to you for a whole bunch of reasons. Uh, yes, I got another backpack. People who know me are like, really? Another one? But hey, you know what? They're like shoes. There is no perfect uh, shoe for every situation, and it is the same with backpacks. I'm going to tell you three things up front about this particular backpack before I get into the nitty gritty of, of what's, what's in it and how it's built. First off, if you're one of those people who are those like uh, ultra light uh, single bag travel types, you know, you're going to go to Europe for three weeks, you're going to bring uh, a half a pair of underwear, one sock, one sleeve, and some toothpaste that doubles as sunscreen and toilet paper, and your whole pack is going to weigh three ounces. It's probably not for you. This backpack is, it's probably not for you. Only because it weighs three and a half pounds empty, which to me isn't a big deal. And I think for most people, it's it's not a big deal. But the reason for the weight is because of the quality of material. Like this is some super thick stuff that they got going on. It's gonna last you a lifetime. It's not gonna get hooked on a fence post or anything and just tear open. So just be aware of that weight wise. I don't think it's a detractor. For some people, it could be. Second, you cannot really buy these backpacks in the United States. You really got to go through the website of the manufacturer, which is in Malaysia. Now, that means you're going to wait a little while. When I ordered this backpack, they had quoted a time on, I think it was their website, of about three weeks was the turnaround time. Uh, it didn't take three weeks. It didn't take four. It, it didn't take six. Uh, it took eight. It took eight weeks. So that was, that was a bit longer than I had expected. Now, in all fairness, uh, Green Room 136 is a small company with a few employees. And I think at the time that I ordered it, there were a few things going on. Like uh, they were a little understaffed because of vacations. And a lot of people are ordering these, these backpacks. So it's gonna, take, it's gonna take some time. And you know we're all used to Amazon getting you something in two or three days and there's, there's no more real anticipation. I was fine with it. I didn't need this for a specific thing. I was excited it was coming in. And it was worth the wait. And I think you'll find that these bags are worth the wait for the number three thing I'm gonna tell you. And that is, these bags are completely customizable. This, this backpack was built specifically for me. I filled out an order form on their website and I specified what colors I wanted, where I wanted the colors, how I wanted the zippers, what I wanted for pockets, and they built it. They built it from scratch. Now, what other companies doing that? There's not a lot. I know there's a few out there, but the fact that you can get a backpack in that's completely built for you, that presumably no one else in the country or the world is gonna have, I think is pretty cool. Of course, after seeing this video, somebody might be like, I want that exact backpack, and, and then I, I won't have the, the only one anymore. Don't do that. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine, I would be flattered if somebody, if somebody did that. Uh, so I'm going to show you a lot of the things that I, uh, I had added to this bag that are different than the stock uh, version that, that you could get. I'm also going to show you a few items that I'm going to, I'm going to put in the bag. It, it's not to show you how I pack the bag because I, I don't find those videos overly interesting. It's really just to give you a sense of scale. I watch a lot of bag videos and I, I don't always understand the scale of things unless I see a product going in, of, in it or out of it. Uh, so I'll show you a few things that I would probably carry in this backpack, but it should give you an idea exactly how this this size works. And lastly, this is not a, uh, obviously it's not an unbagging or an unboxing video. Um, I would never do that to you. I feel like unboxing videos are where um, narcissism and uh, masochism meet. <laughs> because really, you should unbox your own stuff and enjoy it. Don't let those videos steal your joy. I mean, unless you love people coming over to your house a week before Christmas and opening all your gifts in front of you and you can't touch them. Um, I never understood the point. I like having the experience of opening something and not knowing what to expect. And so hopefully at some point you will get one of these bags in and uh, in its plastic bag that it arrives in. And then you can have the experience on your own of unwrapping your brand new customized bag. So that said, Let's have a look at what I had done to this. Okay guys, here is my Rainmaker from Green Room 136. I'm gonna take a spin around the exterior of the bag to show you the upgrades and the customizing that I did. So first off, 
the, the hardest part about getting this bag made uh, in a custom way is deciding on the colors because there are so many options on Green Room's website and there are also so many different areas that you can you can have colored in. Uh, this is the three panel front. You can get a five panel front. Uh, they can do the sides, they can do the back, and they can even do the bottom of the bag. And so they give you, thankfully, a template that you can download. And with that template, you can uh, go get your crayons or your markers and you can color it in and try to figure out exactly what you want, which is also helpful for Green Room because they give you the ability to also send in that template to them when you do the order. Awesome, because you might think you picked a particular color in a particular way based on their website and the options, and then you send them the picture, and they'd look at it and say, ah, uh, this doesn't really match up with what you ordered. So it gives you every opportunity to stop a mistake from happening on the ordering side of it. So that's good. Got this uh, bag in the three colors, yellow, gray, and black on the bottom. I just figured uh, uh, black is gonna show less less wear as opposed to some of the color options. Uh, you probably saw some dog hair on there and I'm sorry, I have a beagle. And a little known fact is a beagle will shed its entire body hair three times per day. <laughs> At least it seems like it. Uh, so, you know, I can just bring something in the house and it's already covered in hair. I've tried to de-hair this as much as I can. First thing I had done after the colors is the Velcro on the front. So if you are a patch person, and you want to be able to throw some Velcro patches on, they will give you the option of having this nice strip go across the front. They got a small logo here. It's not offensive at all, you know, very tastefully there. And you can throw a patch over it if, you, if you'd rather not see it. The next thing I had added to the bag here is this front half pocket. So it does not come with this standard. And it's, it's nothing, nothing crazy special. It's just a little pocket you could throw your keys or your phone in, you know, some, some sort of basic item uh, that doesn't require a lot of padding. Uh, there's still a, a good amount of padding here, but you know, just the things that you'd want to access fairly frequently. What it does come with stock though, is the pocket above it, see? So you get underneath that rain flap and you've got this whole other pocket. Where does it go? I'm gonna show you. This is actually really great. So this pocket goes all the way down, all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And what really makes this pocket awesome is the fact that it's not one of those front pockets that's completely sucked to the front of the bag. Like it's so tight that whatever you put in there, you're gonna see the outline of in the front. It's not like that at all. You've got a lot of space in here that you could, you could work with. And there's a little bit of organization here, you've got, I don't know, I think two, two little pockets. Yeah, great, you may not need them, but they're there if you do. My Low Pro backpack has this nice feature and uh, I really appreciate the fact that they, they added this pocket with some degree of thoughtfulness. This wasn't just like, a, a, oh, we'll throw a pocket on the front, uh, you, you know, basically to make it look awesome, but not be functional at all. It, it's totally functional. So uh, you're gonna get that even if you don't customize that little half pocket here, so. <laughs> That's good news. Next thing I had done was the sunglasses pocket, this little tiny pocket up here. This pocket, I have a very similar option on my Osprey Nebula 32. I always found it to be a useful pocket. They call this a sunglass pocket. In most cases, I think that's what they call it on just about every bag out there. Not a stock option. I added it. And just to show you, so I have inside here, this is a, a Uniden SDS-100, it's a, it's a police scanner. I'm a kind of a radio nut sort of guy and I like to travel with it. And it lets me listen to what's going on in, in town and uh, provides never ending entertainment, especially if you're in an airport. Wow, you can listen to all sorts of fun stuff on this. So I usually bring this with me, but I like to have it easily accessible or in a place where I can maybe run some headphones out. And, and this is one of those places. I will point out that on this pocket in here, there is corduroy. Can you see it? This is not the only place you're gonna find the corduroy. You're gonna see where that other place is in just a minute. What I like about this pocket also is it extends all the way to the end on both sides. So when I, when I was looking at this originally, I thought it was just the length of the zipper, but it is the whole uh, width of the bag, which is fantastic, I think. So good to get. And it's got its own little flap. You're gonna notice that all the zippers are protected by a rain flap. And my understanding was a lot of these flaps used to be a heck of a lot bigger and the feedback was that people said, hey, I don't think they need to be that big. So Green Room dialed it back. I think I have the 
dialed back version of those flaps. Either way, I'm not offended by them. I think they look fine. Next up, we've got the magnetic straps. These buckles here to let you kind of cinch things down, these nice compression straps. These were upgrades, you get two on both sides. Now when I first got this bag in, it was, everything was cinched way down. And when I opened up the, uh, the bag that this came in, I was like, oh my God, this thing is so much smaller than I thought. <laughs> then I was like, oh, wait a minute, this really cinches down, these compression straps work. Now, they more or less just guide themselves. And they're so easy to do. And you can do it with one hand if you want to. But if you don't get these, what you'll get are those, uh, those plastic buckles where you have to squeeze one side to pull that out. So this is probably the, the better way to go. I have no regrets on this. Two on this side, uh, two over here. I'm gonna talk about the water bottle holder here in a second. And then I also uh, got the sternum magnetic uh, buckle here. It's a different buckle, but it's still part of that package. So totally worth it. Uh, speaking of the cup holder, so this is my Hydro Flask 21 ounce. It's the tall, narrow mouth version. I also have the uh, the 32. It doesn't quite, the 32 doesn't quite fit in here because it's, it's really, really wide. But like the 20s, the 21s, the 16s, they're going to fit in here. But just those, those larger Hydro Flasks just aren't going to make it. That's okay. 99.9% .9 of the people who carry water bottles are probably carrying something that is about that diameter. So... Right in it goes. And it's deep. You can see that it's pretty deep. You're not going to have to worry about these just flying out on you. Seat belt. This is seat belt material. You can get these uh, softer handles that clasp on here, I think via Velcro. I didn't opt for those. I didn't feel like I needed them. I don't really carry my bags too often by straps. You can get other straps added. Oh, and you can also get a cup holder added on the other side if you want. I very rarely even carry a cup. I just wanted to make sure I had a water bottle with me to show you this review, but uh, there's a good chance I might use this for a monopod or a uh, tripod. The other thing you'd want to know about the cup holders is that if you had those installed, you cannot clamshell open the main compartment if that is important to you. Let's get into that main compartment. Let me pull out my Pentax K1. This is my main shooting camera. And I put it in here just for a sense of scale. I mean, that there's a lot of space in here. There's a lot of space in here. This feels bigger than bags rated at higher dimensions. I, I have that Osprey uh, 32. This feels bigger than the 32 for sure. One thing I did not point out, but I will do that now before I get too much deeper into this, are the zippers. I upgraded to the number 10 YKK zippers for the main compartment. They just slide nicer. I like these a lot better than the standard zippers. And for the large areas, the big compartments, to be able to access those in that way makes things nice and smooth. All right, back inside, you've got two in here. You've got two mesh compartments, two zippered compartments. So I like that. I have not seen that on a lot of bags. And it's a durable mesh. It's not that weird, super stretchy mesh that you feel like you're going to poke a hole in. So that's good news. You got the, uh, the uh, uh, Molly Mole straps right here if you want to be able to clip some things on or uh, uh, use uh, uh, carabiners. And then you have this other little pocket. And I threw in just for the scale. This is an, an iPad mini. And you can see that obviously it's gonna have no problem holding a regular size iPad or an iPad Pro, or you know, potentially even a laptop like a, like a MacBook Air. I don't think you'd wanna do that for here because there is a place for the laptop I'm gonna show you when we get to the, the back portion. My understanding is that this interior is what you get on any of the bags that you order, regardless of customization you're gonna get this. Most of the customizing happens outside. So if you buy just the stock version of the bag, you'll get all of this. You get the, the dual uh, zippered pouch area, you'll get this and the, the Molly straps. So like I said, the only main difference is how you're gonna access this. So if you wanna upgrade the zippers, you should. Get the number 10s, it's way worth it. If you wanna be able to open this up clamshell, wider than it is now, do not get the cup holders. Just not compatible with that function. Okay, so to the back. Now, you've got two main compartments that I've pointed out. 
Number 10 zippers again here. This is where you're gonna keep your laptop. Good, because you wanna have it closer to your back. That's where you want the weight to be. This now will completely clamshell out because it's not affected by those cup holders. So there you go. Now, here's gonna be where you can put your iPad. You've got some pen holders, uh, slots in here. Again, all the way down to the bottom. That's nice. Well, let me show you this, this is interesting. So here's where you're gonna put your laptop. I have a MacBook Pro, I have the 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's the older version, it's 2012 model. And as a result, it's a thicker MacBook and then I have like a leather case on top of that. It will fit in here. I don't think you'd have any problem putting a 15 inch laptop in here. 17 might be pushing it. Uh, I don't know that for a fact because I don't own a 17 inch laptop. So you, you may wanna ask the folks over at Green Room. But remember the corduroy that I mentioned earlier? It's back and it's right here. Right in there, can you see it? So if you put your laptop in here, it's gonna be super protected. It's really gonna be protected very, very nicely. And you'll also notice that the bottom of this, let's see if I can open this up a little bit more. The bottom of the laptop area is suspended just a little bit off the bottom of the bag. That's really cool because if you drop your bag for some reason, your laptop is not gonna take the, the brute force of that drop through the bottom of the bag. So that's, that's really, really helpful. Just to recap super quick, I got the Velcro. I got the half pocket in the front. I upgraded to the magnetic fid locks. I upgraded to the number 10 zippers on the main compartment. I got myself one cup holder and the fid lock upgrade came with the magnetic sternum strap. All right, so that is my Rainmaker from Green Room 136. The ordering process was easy, the communication was good. I emailed back and forth with a person by the name of Pat, who I also believe is the owner of the company. And, and what was neat was I wasn't sure if I, I really wanted to go with this gold color. There was an orange I was looking at. It was gonna stick with the gray. And I asked them to do a render on their end of both, and they did. And, and not only did they do that, but they emailed me back and said, it was Pat who emailed me back and said, here's your renders, I really like the yellow. And it took me, took me aback for a second because you don't often get someone else's opinion in, in a company. They just say, here you go, let me know what you think. And I, I liked that. It reminded me that there was a human being on the other side of this transaction who was working to get me something that I would like and he shared his opinion. And, and that was, that was kind of cool. I really appreciated that. Now again, it's coming from Malaysia, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit of time. Three weeks minimum, probably. It could be up to eight weeks. It took me eight weeks. This is not a bag you order when you're leaving on a trip in two weeks. Now, their stock bag, the one that you're not customizing, maybe it'll come in that quick, you could ask them. But these customized bags, they're worth the wait, but you are going to wait. So find out, find out before you order. If the wait's too long, don't order it. I don't think that was too long. And anticipation is a fun thing. I did, not, uh, I did not stress out about it, but I got really excited when I saw that my order had been fulfilled and it was on its way. And then the whole day that it was supposed to be coming, I just kept checking the updates, the updates, the updates. And then it was at the house and, and I was really excited to open that front door and find it there and rip that bag open. <laughs> not this bag, the plastic bag it came in. Materials, super durable, 1000D Cordura, water resistant, really, really good zippers, strong straps. It's got the, uh, the seat belt style material here. I'm gonna have this bag for a really, really, really long time. This for me is gonna be a good weekender or maybe up to a five day trip. I can fit my camera gear in here. I can fit rolled clothing in here and accessories. I'm not gonna sacrifice uh, what I bring for the sake of fitting everything into this bag because there is plenty of room. This is the largest 27 liter bag I've ever seen, which probably makes no sense when I say that. But I've seen other 27 liter bags out there and it does not feel as large as this. So order one up. I hope you're happy with yours. If you have any questions about this specific bag uh, or you get one and you wanna tell me how yours worked out, I'd love to hear from you. You can reach me at tim at capenightphotography.com or you can leave comments in the comment section Below. So thanks for watching and if you get one of these, enjoy your bag.